Sam Harris says our brains are just meat computers. This strikes me as crude, but is there truth to it? No, there isn't truth to it because it conflates electronics, it conflates zero ones with biology. And I just don't think the two are the same. Now, I am not, you know, you can't reduce every biological phenomena to just zero ones. And, and if you did, you couldn't explain, never mind explain consciousness, you couldn't explain life. You couldn't explain, of course, you can't explain free will, but you can't explain life. Why are some things alive and other things not alive? Is it just the zero ones? There's something that happens when you combine certain chemicals. Certain chemicals that, you know, have biological, that create, that when you combine them, create a biological thing. And that's different than just the electrons and the atoms moving around. Certain combination have emergent properties. And you can't, and the emergence is not an emergence of the zeros and ones, which is what a computer is. The emergence is it emergent from the interaction of biological components, of chemical interactions. And to boil that down to a computer that just is zero ones is I think a massive mistake and just, and just wrong. And, and I, was, I was really interested in this one uh, scientist that I saw a lecture of his, and he is a, uh, he's just built a chemical computer. Uh, but his goal in life is to create life. And his approach to creating life is not to build a supercomputer. His approach to creating life is to try to figure out the, the chemistry of life the chemical components, the chemical structure, the way to structure components in a way that, that generates life. And he wants to create life, but chemically. And I, and I, think, I think there's a massive mistake that goes on by, uh, that Sam makes by, by thinking that everything is just, is just zero ones and that there's no emergent phenomena emergent pro that, that are associated with the biology, not just with the electrons moving around. And I think our brain is filled with emergent properties and filled with complexity. And, and the things we don't understand, we don't understand consciousness from the perspective of the causes of it, we understand what it does, but what generates it, how it comes about, and the same with free will, how it comes about, what is it an emergent property of other than to say it's an emergent property of a living being with a certain level of like a human being. So there's still a lot of science, still a lot of knowledge, primarily I think in biology, that we need to have in chemistry, that we need to have before we can explain these things. So Sam Harris is full of it. By taking the existent state of knowledge and thinking that it's it, we're done. And the only possible, therefore, explanation of consciousness is what I know, which is just zero ones. What we need today what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, 
the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.